Hello, you beautiful people, my beautiful subscribers and friends. Hi, I am Destiny. You know me, guys. I am back. As I was saying last night when I uploaded the video, uh, the title was Becoming Somebody to Become Nobody. You must go and watch that first part of that video. And tonight I will go into another part, which will be part two. And like I said, it is, it's going to be a mini series. I don't know how many parts, but I don't want it to be long or lengthy. So I want to break them in smaller increments so you guys can really have a focus to sit down and just say, I want to watch this, you know. I don't want it to be where it's so long that you're just like, oh, that's just too long. You just give up on it before you give it a chance. Let's get started. Tonight, I'm going to talk about a little more details. I'm going to give you some more things about myself and how I became who I am. I'm trying my whole life to be somebody, to please everybody, do everything that people could say, hey, she's great, she's this, she's that, being everything but my true authentic self. And as I explained last night, a nobody is a good thing. My people have been lied to. A nobody is your real, true, authentic self. Where you're not fake, you're not phony, you're not putting on airs or fronts, or you're not betraying yourself to be something that you're not. You're not tense, you're not frustrated, you're not aggravated. You're just real. Your real, authentic self. Last night, in the first part of the video, I gave you five tips to become nobody. And I told you those five tips that you must be content, you must be accepting, you must be aware, you must be reflective, and you must be giving. I gave you some questions that I posted in the description box. My people, I hope you really looked at those questions and thought about it enough to give it some answers to those questions. Anyway, let's dive into part two. And this is becoming somebody to become nobody. Oh, my people. Like I said, you got to go back and listen to the first part of the video. I'm going to start out with the Bible. So I'm just like your pastor or your teacher or whoever it is. I'm standing on the pulpit, my people. And I'm asking you to please pull out your Bible. Pull your Bibles out. Go with me to the New Testament, to the book of Philippians, chapter 2. And we're going to be looking at chapter 2, verses 1, verses, verses 1 through 7. I'm going to give it all in pieces, okay? Do you have your Bible when you say that you there? Just let me know. Let the church say amen. <laughs> People, let's start it. I'm going to take it to the Bible. The first thing I want to do, because I want to show you what the Bible has to say about becoming a nothing, about becoming a nobody. Okay. Philippians chapter 2. I'm starting at verse 1. I'm going to skip around till I go all the way through verse 7. The Bible says this, my people. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. But in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. But Christ, and I say that's our Christ consciousness, people. You may not understand that yet. But Christ, he is our Christ consciousness. What he did, he made himself nothing. What? Is that in the Bible? I'm reading from the NIV version of the Bible. And it, and it says that he made himself nothing. That's me. No, go back and read it again. Okay, so that's Philippians chapter 2 verse 7. said he made himself nothing. Okay, let me read again. 
Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. But Christ, and I call him Christ Consciousness. You won't really get that until you really become truly awakened by the divine creator of this universe. But Christ's consciousness, people, made himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. So now let me tell you what um, Philippians chapter 2 verse 7 has to say. Then it goes on to say that he emptied himself. Wow, that's deep. He emptied himself. And people, we out there, we need to empty ourselves out of a whole lot of BS, a whole lot of stuff, and a whole lot of lies, and a whole lot of things, and fears, and all those. We need to empty that old person, those old things that we allow people to maneuver and manipulate and control us and define us as. Christ emptied himself. He took on an unimportant position and became a servant to humanity. He became nothing, my people. He considered your needs, my people, as well as mine, before his own. He put you and me and all of us above himself. He considered your needs and mine before his own when he emptied himself. And that's what my people, we must do. We got to empty ourselves. I say, we got to get rid of some junk. We got to get rid of this slave mentality, this way of thinking that we always got to be out there doing what the world systems is telling us to do and programming us. That we got to go out there and do this. We got to go out there and be somebody. We got to go out there and make a name for ourselves. Empty yourself of your BS. You get that later problem. My people, that's what we must do. We must esteem others above ourselves. And Christ, Christ's consciousness was our example to follow. And therefore, my people, we got to do likewise. We got to become just like him. Because like I said, we are him. We were created in his image and his likeness. Therefore, we got to be like him. We got to do like him. We got to act like him, talk like him, and live like him. Becoming a somebody to become nothing. That's what he did. He had a, he was becoming a somebody. He had to lose all of that because he knew that he was divine. He knew that he was everything. But he had to lose Give all of that up to become nothing, to become a nobody. And my people, you know what? During my six and a half years of becoming my greater and higher self, learning about everything that I am today that I was never taught that I was, that I was created to be. People, I had to learn the hard way, but I learned. And I learned that valuable lesson from a whole lot of trials and errors of my own, as well as from trials and errors of other people that was intruding in my life, trying to manipulate me, control me to be what they wanted me to be. But my people, listen, the divine creator did not try to keep hold of all of that he is, or all of that is his right. Or his unique position and pur purpose. But guess what? He stripped himself. He emptied himself. And he humbled himself. And he laid aside all of that being somebody. To become nobody, my people. For me and for you. Now, let's get a little deeper. Now listen, people, you may have noticed that I speak with conviction. I live like everything I do is the right thing to do. I, I'm telling you, I 
don't doubt my actions or the decisions that I make. And this is real self-confidence, people. And self-confidence is just acknowledging what is and giving up what is not regarding who you really are. It's getting rid of all the unessential BS. And you know what that is, bullshit. Getting rid of all the essential BS that says that you aren't enough. You gain real confidence when you break the chains of your mind. When you push away yourself from the boundaries you have accepted from everyone else. But my people, let me tell you this, and I want to wake you up. The thing is that there are no boundaries. People, there are no rules. And there are no laws. Absolutely nothing at all. Only finding out who you really are. You do discover what it takes to be nothing at all. Becoming somebody, to become nobody, my people. And that's everything. We had to reverse it, because people told us you gotta be somebody. You gotta go out there and live to make yourself be somebody. We had to reverse that. Christ emptied himself and became nothing. So he can become everything for us. They say that the mind is everything, people, but everything is only what is. And you also better learn what is not. That is important because I'm telling you, people have gotten you hoodwinked, lied to, bamboozled, manipulated, controlled, and got you on strings. They are pulling you in every direction that you need not to be going into. But everything is only what is. And you better learn what is not. And most people have ideals about themselves. Oh, yes, they do. They go like, well, you know, I am this kind of person. What kind of person is that? Oh, well, you know, I am this and I am that. I am this kind of person. Then they try to stay conjuring with that ideal. You know what I'm saying? But the more you define yourself with ideals, people, and with concepts, the less you will be who you actually are, who you are being created to be by the divine creator himself. And when you are defining yourself with external concepts, then guess what? You are everybody else, and you're not yourself at all. So listen, almost everyone I see, people, and you can just step out of your front door. You can just, wherever you are, with everybody that I see, they are chasing something. They are running behind this. They are running behind that. Almost, I said, almost everyone I see is chasing something that is the opposite of who they are. Something that people that they will like, something that people will accept, something that people will say, oh, I can fall in love with. They run it behind things just to please people, to become something important, something special, something big, so they can please other people to be accepted. People, let me tell you, for a long time myself, I chased an image of myself too. I Sure did. I was that people pleaser. I did everything I can to please people. Even putting my knees on the background for I forgot myself existed many times. And I'm going to be honest and be real with you. That's the only way we can get beyond the control, manipulation of this world system. And that's the way we can find our true self. It's by being honest. And for a long, very long time, I chased an image of myself too. I thought I needed to be something to be me, something that people, they will like in itself. And I desire to please the people more than anything else. I desire to please the people and then I became what they wanted me to be. Yes, I desire, let, let me tell you, let me find desire. Desire is nothing, my people, but chasing your so, you get that. Desire is nothing 
but chasing yourself. You're chasing an external image of who you think that you are. And this is one of the most unaudible, this is one of the most misunderstood concepts of all time. So why, Destiny? Thank you for asking that question. Very good question to ask. Because the real thing became nothing but a concept once somebody started interpreting it. And moreover, things won't make any sense to most people until they are forced to give up everything that they ever thought that they were supposed to be. So people, listen to this. Everything is bullshit. <laughs> yes, it says, I can hear, I say everything is bullshit. Everything is BS. Why is everyone chasing the opposites of who they are? When you were small and weak, you were most sensitive to all the BS of the world, right? Make no mistake, everything people is BS. Make no mistake, people, everything are lies. And at best, everything is only true enough. Now you know the mind can only grasp what the mind can grasp. And that's not much. And you know, when you were a kid, the stronger forces shaped you into the image that they thought that you were supposed to be. And almost no one treats children as children. But instead, they treat them as something they think that children should be. Parents want their children to become decent human beings instead of just letting them grow and be who they were created to be. Parents got to mold and manipulate and control and do everything to make them do what they think they should be, become what they think they should be. But many parents actually think that it is their duty to create robots out of their children or to create machines that are programmed for them to be proper, proper citizens. That's our mistake. My people even teaching is BS and bullshit. Being an example isn't though. And that's what, that's what the Christ consciousness was our example. That he emptied himself so he can leave our examples how we supposed to live, how we supposed to do. To how we supposed to give up everything to become nothing for humanity and mankind. But you know the parents and the cultures that you live in, they didn't let you be who you really were. You had many flaws and there were many holes and you weren't good enough to be that little rascal child <laughs> that you were. You, you couldn't be who you were. Everybody wanted you to be something that you were not meant to be. So you had to go out there and you had to try to make yourself somebody. Especially when you've been programmed from day one. Go out there and be somebody. Go out there and do this. Go out there and make a life and go out there and make the best life. Just be somebody. But people, and that was a mistake for all of us. We were programmed to go into the opposite direction out there trying to be somebody instead of going to war. Our, our higher greater self is emptying ourselves, stripping ourselves down of all the pride and everything else within us. Taking ourselves out of the line light and becoming that nobody so we can be servants of humanity. People nowadays, it's worse than ever out there. You know what? It's not enough for parents and people and whoever to try to mentally shape their children into something that they want them to be. But in these days, guess what? They try to change them biologically as well. Because a lot of times they use this ADHD medication and they put these kids, you know, brains on, on, on fry and they frizzle dizzle and, and, and you know, they got them wired up. But fundamentally people, everything is mental control, including the biologic. Now, if you were born a man, then you were ashamed of being the masculine force of the world. And if you were born a woman, then you were a box to fit the cultural definitions of what it means to be a woman. And you were even ashamed of being a human being. And you are destroying the nature, they say. And they tell you that you are destroying the nature. You got to be this. You got to do this. But 
most fundamentally, you are ashamed to be just yourself. Or maybe you weren't, because the truth is not everyone is sick. But we live in a sick world. We live in a sick, sick society. But everyone is not sick. But all most people, everyone is. Shaming is the ultimate strategy of control. And they always going around here, just games they play, don't be this, don't do this, be this, you got to do this. Hey, that's all they do. Don't be this, you got to be this. Don't do that, you got to do this. And that's always just like, just control, a strategy of control, the system we're living in. Somebody's always executing them. His or her personal power over somebody. And we know it and we see it all the time. Someone is always executing his or her personal control or their power over someone. And my people, shaming is putting your consciousness into chains. And my people, putting your consciousness into chains. Because the mental control is as bad, my people, as the physical control and you are being forced to be in the control of someone else think about it jobs control you your, your pastors your teachers your leaders control you everywhere you go somebody is controlling you either your wife is controlling you your husband's control you and law cabin is down the children's trying to run their home and control parents people listen you don't want to be in nobody else's control. You got to break those chains, my people. Mental control is as bad as physical control, and you are being forced to be in control of someone else. And many say no one can hurt you without your consent. And my people, I'm telling you, that's BS too. That's bullshit too. Don't, have, don't, 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 don't fall in denial and saying that. Because many say no one can hurt them without their consent. But that's BS. When you are 100% dependent on someone and honestly believe that it's all that you have, like when you were a child, everyone could hurt you regardless of your consent. And when you gain power, both physical and mental, you finally gained the ability to say no. And you see it with sassiness. No. Let them know no. And so when you become both physically and mentally strong, then it's time to cut off all the unsensual BS the bullshit. That you were forced to eat all your life and you were spoon fed all those lies. Cut it off, my people. Cut off all the unsensual BS that you were fed when you were a child. All of us are carrying at least something or some kind of baggage. You better learn from the example of the Christ, the Christ consciousness in Philippians chapter two, where he stripped himself and he emptied himself and he became nothing because it's not about being somebody popular, being someone famous, or being all these things that you want to try to please the world. It's about being who you are, your real, true, authentic self. Being what he created you to be so you can become the greater, higher version. And you have to let go of all those things out there so you can become what he wants you to be because he was your example. Christ conscious, he was your example that we shall follow so that we can be like him. So we can become everything, our raw, authentic self. Becoming somebody, my people, to become nobody. That is where you want to get to at this time of day. So you know what? I'm going to conclude there. It's part two, and I'm finished. And I'm going to be back with a part three another time. I don't know when, but I will be back. In the meantime, go back and play part one. And then you come here and you pick up on part two and just wait. For the excitement, more is coming. I'm going to see you in the next video. Your girl Destiny is out of here. 
Destiny Forever Walks is my YouTube channel. My beautiful people, my subscribers, and any new people who just come to my channel, you are totally, absolutely welcome. I got so excited I didn't welcome my people because I want to get this message into your ears, into your heart today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Wait on part three that's coming. Namaste. Love you guys. Becoming somebody now to become nobody. It's totally, absolutely different. Study the video.